Hi guys, um, I'm Maggie. Uh, this is my channel, uh, Vintage Twist Co. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I really appreciate you stopping by and watching my video. Uh, so today I am doing a, another custom order for the same lady that I did uh, the shelf for, uh, the one where I made the drawers and uh, stained it and everything. Uh, and that's, uh, I think, two, two videos back if you want to check that out. Um, I have no idea how to link things, so, you know, people go like this and there's like, the link is up there, and I'm like, I have no idea how to do that, so... Uh, just go search for it. Anyway, um, so this bench is pretty awesome. Uh, it's not mine, unfortunately, because I really like it, but uh, it's too dark for her decor, so I'm going to sand it, I'm going to paint it. Uh, we've kind of come up with a plan, uh, and then I'm just going to wing it after that. Uh, I'm very sorry to all you wood lovers out there. I am a wood lover as well. Um, but this definitely is really dark. Um, it, it's, uh, I just think that it would look a lot, um, like more modern, fresher, uh, and it'll definitely, I think, bring, not definitely, I think, but it will bring, uh, more value, I think, to the owner and to uh, her home. If you want to stay tuned, then watch and all that good stuff. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, then subscribe. If you want to leave a comment, I love reading all of your comments. I had like so many comments from the Ugly Duckling Challenge. And uh, I just like, I, you know, all the YouTubers are like, yeah, I love reading the comments and I, I now I get it. <laughs> I do. I love reading the comments. Um, and so far you guys have been like super awesome and encouraging and giving me some tips and I, I love the tips. So keep them coming. Uh, so yeah, anyway, um, there's really nothing left to say, I guess. Uh, I'm going to get started. <laughs> Well, after washing and scrubbing with a toothbrush and rinsing really well, it's time to get to sanding. I am going to sand a little bit on the areas that you're going to be touching more often. Uh, as this bench seat is more of a rustic kind of feel, um, you can see like saw marks and um, it's not like supposed to be in pristine looking condition. It's more of a rustic kind of feel. So there are rough spots. Um, however, I'm just giving a little sand to the arms and the seats so that there's nothing that's going to catch on your clothes or be rough when you touch it. This is how I have it set up in my dining room. Uh, I'm going to be using my paint sprayer 
I have a Wagner Control Spray Max. I recommend using a paint strainer uh, when you fill it up. Uh, I just don't have any, so I'm not using one. Um, and then I'm going to thin my primer. Uh, thinning primer just means that you're going to end up having to do more coats, uh, which I'm okay with. That's fine. It still is quicker for me to spray than to paint with a brush. Now I'm just trying to get my paint to the right consistency so that it will spray out of the sprayer um, in a nice fine mist. So when you let the paint run off of the stick, you don't want to see it sit on top of the paint when it goes back in. Like you shouldn't see ribbons on top of the paint. It should just completely disappear when it falls in. And then you know you have the right consistency. This took me a little while to figure out and uh, I still don't get it all the time. I sometimes have to go back and add a little more water to thin it out a little more if it gets um, a little splotchy when it sprays out of the sprayer. So when I first started spraying the primer it wasn't coming out of my spray gun consistently so I just played with the um, control um, you can have more pressure or less pressure coming out so I believe I was turning up the pressure to hopefully uh, get it to come out more consistently and in a finer mist and this is why I started on the bottom of the bench instead of the top um, you won't really notice anyways the inconsistencies of the paint um, as I'm going to do about three coats of the primer anyways. I found a small spot that needed some wood filler, so I just filled it up and then sanded it when it was dry. I believe now I'm doing the second coat of primer.
I chose to use fusion mineral paint in a gray color called Little Lamb. Uh, fusion mineral paint is awesome because it has a top coat built into it and you don't necessarily have to put a top coat on. Um, however, I did with this bench just because I knew it was going to get a lot of use and I wanted to preserve the paint job as much as I could. So I ended up doing uh, three coats of primer, uh, two and a half coats of paint, and uh, three coats of a matte uh, clear coat. I did a light sanding in between the primer and the paint, and then again a light sanding in between the paint and the top coat. Now for the final touches, I'm adding a little bit of gold gilding wax to certain areas of this bench that I felt just needed a little something extra. So I'm adding just a little touch to some grooves uh, and in a minute you will see uh, the finished bench in all its glory. So I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you very much for being here and subscribing and leaving comments and I just think that it's super fabulous and I'm extremely grateful that uh, you guys are all here and um, wanting to learn from me and see what I'm doing next. So I just really appreciate you and I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for being here. So if you want to see more videos then make sure you hit that bell to be notified of my next upload. Uh, also if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button. Maybe share this video with a friend who might enjoy it. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers. That is my goal um, and hopefully you can help make that happen.